Remember, becoming a skilled shoemaker takes time and dedication. Be patient with yourself, celebrate your progress, and embrace the learning journey. With practice and passion for the craft, you can develop into a proficient and accomplished shoemaker. Hello, you're welcome back to my channel. I hope you'd sit back to watch this video with me to the end. Thank you. Now, the next thing, um, I mean, the first thing to do is to mask your last. After that, is to demarcate your last. So, demarcating it. Um, I've taught it so many times in my previous video but I'll teach it one more time you can go to you see it in my description box below I'll put a link there where you can see how to tape up your last with a carbon so the marketing your last you need to cross a tape and then um, choose it in half like this right now is four so what you're going to be choosing is to the middle yeah that way you're going to be choosing the middle so when you draw it it's going to be straight doing the same thing at the up do the same thing till you reach at the upside so you don't have any crooked line yeah, thank you. What's wrong with me? Okay, so going through what we're drawing today, we're going to be making a Chelsea boot pattern. I think this is the latest, um, should I say, this is the newest fashion of Chelsea boot. So that's what, we're going, that's what we're going to be making today. I hope you enjoyed the last video. Thank you for subscribing and liking i hope you enjoyed i hope you're going to enjoy these too i hope you're going to enjoy the video and learn so much about how to make chelsea boot so the first thing is um demarcating a line so that's where you're going to be putting like this is where you're going to give a space when drawing in your circle your curved circle yeah so after doing that, you do the same thing, you go ahead to the same thing at the back. Should So after that, I'm making it more cleaner. The next thing is to start with drawing um, a little bit triangle there. You can see the Chelsea boots pattern is not just an ordinary Chelsea boot like others that is plain or well, this Chelsea boot is different. So this is why you have to be more careful when drawing the pattern. It has so many steps, so many cuttings, so many, so many, so many, so many, um, what should I call it? So many, um, patterns difference you have to this is the first step the second step the second step the rubber is the third step then the back so you have to draw with detail when drafting the pattern if not you end up doing something else you end up making another shoe so you have to make what you're drawing pin to the line if not you know that what you're drawing is bad well you know making chelsea boots pattern may look tough but trust me it's not yeah it took me time to get what i drew here but yeah yeah it took time but just with as far as your shoemaker even though you're a beginner use the same idea yeah i can make it so you draw it with the circle make sure it touches the line like i said before make sure it touches the line if not you know that no you're not getting what you're drawing for some last like i'm using size 43 this is my last is size 43 um, 
your last or the shoe you want to make or the pattern that you're drafting your, your last may be a little bit smaller or bigger so it depends it's not necessary to draft um like the place i put in my line as you can see this shoe is smaller size is smaller than mine the shoe and the tablet the shoe in the tablet would be 40 but what i'm using is 43 so the line is supposed to enter more inside if you're using more smaller size just use your yeah to connect the dots thank you for tuning into this video i'm so very very happy and i hope you subscribe and like the video and also turn on your notification bell to get notified to get notified once i post another video so going through the back um we're going to be drafting something else as i said before there's so many different patterns here and if you're not careful you end up making something else so i hope you understood everything remember when doing this you don't just um craft draft a straight line you have to make it a little bit sliding like how i made mine if now drafting a straight line means that you're not making this okay you're making something else or you're making just a plain cover for the back this gives what you're making more design so after that what you're going to be doing is to place where your rubber is going to enter which from that down okay what i'm using is one and a half inch i'm using one and a half inch for it which as i said before if you last this bigger if or if it's smaller it depends but for the 40 size i think what they use is one and quarter inch it's not that um not that wider not that wide as mine so you just have to be careful that uh, is almost done just with yeah yeah just take it slowly step by step and i hope not i hope i know that you get what you're looking for i know that you get why you turn into my video and understand it so after that we're going to be closing the bag then you don't just this is not how the pattern is going to be remember the pattern the lines there is for what should i call it for fancy so we're going to erase all of them to get what we want erasing it doesn't mean that you should erase only the front and leave the other line no both supposed to be erased out as of is of no use them in the pattern like we're not using the line anymore we're done with what we are using so you say bye bye to the line there erase all of them thank you line for helping us draw our pattern so it turns out to be neat thank you you really helped us but now you have to go back from where you came from so after erasing it make sure you erase all after erasing it um the sewing yeah the sewing of these seems to okay now seems is two the sewing there is too so you have to mark it out
so you have to mark out the sewing and there the sewing there should be an opening in the middle there maybe using your um um your punching plier right using your punching plier yeah, to open up there so doubling the line just you don't i don't think you need any inches or anything just on top of the line you already drew just add a smaller just shaping it or maybe you can use <laughs> this not up to an inch um, i mean it's not up to centimeter so just on top of the other line draw it smoothly with no mistake even though you make a mistake because no one is above mistake just erase it off so yeah 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 exactly what i'm talking about just drawing the two dots the two lines and you're almost done with your pattern This she just seems like oh put put your leg in it and wear it. It seems so real. So after that there's also another drawing at the back of the shoe which you have to do apply the same thing you did in the front. Let's do it at the back. And after that, we're going to be um to be to be drawing it up. Um, guys, stay tuned to my next video because I'm going to be posting how I'm going to be cutting. I'm going to be masking it out from the last to put it on um, the carbon. So stay tuned to my next video. So what I'm doing right here, I'm using half city. I mean half inch for the gaps I'm using half inch or maybe two centimeter if you want it to be closer so yeah, as I said before, you have to put more back lining there. So to finish up the work, so to finish up the work, I understand. I mean, I hope you understand this video. Don't forget to like, hit the subscription button, and and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for watching. TV loves you. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe.